Okay, so P8.8, parallelogram of forces. So let's start off with these two examples up here because they're the two that you're a little bit more familiar with. So if we want to add forces together, I'm pretty confident that if I asked all of you to add these two together, so 150 there and 50 there, um, that might be like two things pulling in exactly the same direction, but you'd tell me it added up to 200 newtons. I'm also pretty confident that if I told you that it was 150 in that direction, 50 in that direction, you'd tell me it was 100 newtons. That's the bit of adding forces so far that you're comfortable with. Now, the bit which you might be less comfortable with is an example like this, where you've got 800 newtons going in this direction, and 500 newtons going in this direction, and the example I've used here is two tugboats pulling a, a bigger boat. Now, you could probably guess that the resultant force is going to be somewhere between the two, and you could probably guess that it's going to be bigger than these two. But you know it's going to be smaller than um, this example here, where they were both going in exactly the same direction. So you know that the resultant force is going to be less than 1,300, but more than 800. Okay? So that's what you know so far. But you struggle to work out the exact amount. Well, this is how you work out the exact amount. So in your exam, you can draw a scale diagram, or they may have already drawn you a scale diagram, and you've just got to measure it. Okay, so 800 newtons, 8 centimetres. 500 newtons, 5 centimetres. And you might need a protractor to measure the angle from there to there, if they give you the angle. Or they might have already drawn the blue lines for you, and just expect you to do the orange lines and the pink line. Okay, so if they've already given you these two, which is the most common way that they ask this question, you then go 8 centimetres there, tip to tail method, so tip to tail method, I go here and put my tail of my next one at the tip of the other one and draw 8 centimetres. I then go here and do the same thing and go 5 centimetres that way. And so the key thing when I'm drawing that is that these two lines need to be parallel and these two lines need to be parallel. And then what I do is I draw the pink line which is from one corner to the opposite corner and then I can measure that number of centimetres, that's 11.5 centimetres, and if I know that each centimetre is 100 um, newtons, then I know that my total is going to be 1,150 newtons. And that's worth about four marks, and you get one mark for working out the actual amount. All the other marks are all just for knowing this parallelogram method. So for, for turning it into a parallelogram, for drawing a line to show the resultant force, for getting the direction of the resultant force correctly, each one of those three things scores a mark, and then there's only one mark available for measuring the uh, length of this with a ruler, and then converting it using the scale. So everybody should be getting 75% on those kind of questions, and those kind of, and 75% is an A.